Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again. My name is Nick and we're looking at Golden Axe 3 on the Sega Ultimate Mega Drive collection on the PlayStation 3. This one came out in 2009. We're gradually going through all the games on this disc. Well, I say all of them, probably most of them. Uh, based on the game that originally came out on the Sega Mega Drive in 1993, it's a hack and slash, the sequel to Golden Axe 2, which is the sequel to Golden Axe 1. So we'll see how uh, this one uh, plays there. Basically, in this one, you must fight uh, the evil villain, looks a bit like Death Adder from the first game, called Damod Hellstrike. He's the Prince of Darkness and he's stolen the Golden Axe. Well, oh dear. And he's pure evil and he's cursed the land. Now, you have to battle all these enemy hordes, get the Golden Axe back, and, and you're there. Um, now, this third installment doesn't have the original players you could pick, like Tyrus Flare, Axe Battler, and Gilius Thunderhead. Uh, it's got these people, which is, uh, well, there's a Black Panther guy called uh, Proud Cragger. Uh, there's a uh, Kane Grinder, who's a bit like X-Battler. Uh, Sahara Bun, there you go, she's the woman. She's a bit like Tyrus Flair, but not her. Gilius Thunderhead does appear in the game, but he's not a controllable character, and we've just chosen Kane Grinder. I don't know why that's new. But this game's got new moves, including blocking, which the other ones didn't have. The original gnomes are back from the first game, and the original magic system's back, so when you hit the, uh, the magic button, it uses all your magic, I think. All characters have the same sort of strength, so let's just go through. Um, it feels a little bit different to the first two Golden Max games, straight away. Uh, jumping is there, and barging too. Right, okay, let's see how we get on then. Characters are a little bit different on this. That guy's got a weapon instead of a load of grapes. Take that. Hmm, it doesn't feel immediately as nice. Let's destroy everyone. One of the other playable characters was Kronos. No, I didn't mention it. Based on the game from 19... Oh dear, I've taken a bit of here. There we go, from 1993. These games are always easier in two-player mode. But I'm the only player here, as per usual. See, there we go. The original gnomes are back, sort of. And I've hit magic when I shouldn't have done. Oh dear, I shouldn't have done that. So I've just wasted magic for no reason. In the original two games, you can get on their back of dragons to fire stuff. This one, it's like a snail beastly thing called a Bizarrean. There we go. So we use it as best as we can. we we'll start off nice and easy, but basically beat up everyone. Uh, get to Damod Hellstrike, who, in all intents and purposes, is um, Death Adder, really. Now, I understand whether this is true or not. Sega didn't really want to release this, Golden Axe 3, because they said it wasn't as good as the first two. And they said that uh, it would be, um, well, the, the franchise would be damaged. It's okay. It's a bit cut and pasty, it seems. They're like, what makes a, a Golden Axe game? Well, that's that. I would have liked to have seen the, um, the same characters there, but they've, they've tried to advance it, so I suppose kudos for that. Who's that woman? It's the Green Goddess of Doom. Now, you can, you couldn't, I couldn't put this on really easy, so this is on normal mode. Uh, see my magic in the top, I got a strength bar as opposed to the little blue bars you had before. I like those blue bars. Right, here we go. Now where are we? This looks interesting. Uh, oh, this looks interesting. I need to get on the back of this somehow, do it. There we go, we're up. Take it there, Paulkins. Right, if I can knock that bloke off. Which is a stalwart with the uh, Golden Axe games. The same people will keep coming at you, but with different colour clothes on. Um, to make it look like you're advancing somewhere. Those snail dragony things are uh, pulling this cart somewhere on our epic quest. But as I said, always oh, oh, jumps off. As I said, always a lot more fun in two-player mode. So if there's a second player, make sure they turn up. Would have been nice to play as Gilius Thunderhead, but apparently he's retired uh, and he's had his golden axe stolen from him. We must go and get it back again. This land is very prone to getting taken over by evil hordes. They need some sort of proper system in place to stop this from happening. This is the third time it has occurred. Right, we've done that, have we? Hey, right, they're off. Here I am, right, here we go. Go on Kane Grinder. Kane Grinder, sounds like an app. Oh, well, we won't, we won't dwell on it. Right, the same bloke that was wearing green before is now wearing purple. He looks so fetching. Small bloke with a club and a big fat belly, you can take that. They don't seem to crowd round you as much um, as the first two games. It's a bit more forgiving in one player, so that's okay. Charge and stab. There you go. Sounds a bit like a fart noise, but um, I suppose that's the sound when a, a sword goes in your belly, maybe. Right. The green one is extra health. How do I get that? There we go. Bend down to get it. And this is magic. Good. 
always try best to try and save your magic for the end of level bosses if you can. Did you have this game? Oh dear. Did you um, did you think it was better than the first two? My first impressions are it's not as good as the first two. I like the first one slightly better than the second one, and I think I like the second one slightly better than the third one, but it might get better as we go along. It just doesn't seem, it's Golden Axe-ish, it doesn't just feel like oh, Golden Axe to me. But it's okay, isn't it? It's quite good. Right. Let's take him out. But it's all about fighting. It moves in a familiar way. Oops, yeah. So, yeah, you can block and the enemy can block as well. You can change direction in midair, as you could the other ones. But you need that. Probably jumping and slashing is the best one. There we go. So get a certain distance. Oops. Oh, look, I've lost a life already. I did like I did like the free blue bars you used to have on the original two games to see how you was getting on. I, I'm not a big fan of that yellow health bar, but anyway. Oh, we've got a choice of directions. Let's go this way. I'm not sure it makes too much of a difference. Right, stay still, little gnome. Stay still. Oh. Yeah, in Golden Axe 2, these guys are a bit like Oric from He-Man. Or whatever his name is. I've forgotten his name again. Anyway, you know what I mean. Orko, that was it. Right, okay, so I've got three magic vials here. Good to have that back. In the second game, you could um, release as much magic as you wanted to with a, with a gauge here. You, whatever you've got, you release. We must find the gold neck. Right, stage two. Not much of a storyline going on here either. The first game um, told you what was going on. It's like he's reading a book, uh, although a very brief book. This one, not happening. There's the square trees with the square waterfall. Who's going to turn up now? This bloke again, but instead of wearing green or purple, he's wearing brown. It's brown territory. Brown pants time. Da -da 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 -da. Controls quite well, this one. Oh, I've t <laughs> what a waste. I've hit the magic button in error again, and I'm just showing off in the middle of nowhere. Maybe we killed some bugs somewhere, I don't know, in the tree. Yeah, that's terrible. Right, We've, all our magic has gone down to zippity doo -dah, which is Golden Axe language for nothing. Oh no, this bloke's going to wake up, is he? In his green? Oh. Where'd you get these sticks from? God, this isn't going well. So, there seems to be the two the general guys. It's the small fat guy uh, with club, and this big guy with spear. I wonder if we can crash those barrels up there like we can um, Street Fighter. No, Street of Raid. There we go, we can. That's good. That's a novel thing as well, smashing crates. They've got that idea from Streets of Rage, which isn't a bad, a bad uh, game to try and copy. This music is quite jolly, but could be a bit more funkier. There's a big door there. Does that mean end of level bosses? Yeah, it hasn't got very good range, that short bloke. But he's from the short bloke clan, right? There must be something up here as well in these barrels. Biff. Right. You can try and outfox these these people. Try and play with the scenery. Oh dearie me. Some jumping is required, I think, to get this mob. Uh, they still want to make different sounds when they clap. Oh no, two knights. We need magic. Could it be magic? Yes. Right, that's a better use of magic, isn't it? Boof. Hopefully they're both dead, these two. You can only but hope. Don't get up. They've got up. They've got a couple of hostages there. Oh, look at that. And he blocked me. We need to release the hostage. Right. They can't take too much more of this, surely. Oh. This is proper Conan the Barbarian stuff. One's got away. Other one, run off. Go, 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 lad. Right, this snail thing. The problem with these uh, mounts is, in this particular game, if you knock them off, you haven't really got time to get back on it again before someone will club you. Uh, and once about three or four people have got on the thing, it will run off. See, look at that. I don't know what the strategy is there. Maybe kill everyone, then get on it, and advance forward. Always seems to be no more than three people to fight so far, anyway. You have to use your... Oh, look at that. I've only got one life left here, but there are a few continues you can have, a few credits if it all goes to pants. Which we're not going to complete the whole game, but uh, we'll complete a good percentage of it. Just to show you what it's like so you can compare it. Right, choice of directions again. Up or down. We'll, we'll go up. We'll take the high road. So you, you can get a different experience each time depending on what direction you go on, I think. Which is which is good. That's, that's a good idea. The other two games didn't have that, so that's a positive there. It's growing on me slightly as we go forward. 
I don't know what this magic is. Is it water power? Fill my water. Mm, oh dear. They're still alive though. It's more deadly than sea parks. Come on. You can do this thing. You can do this thing. Clubber. Oops. Da 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 da. Collect. Good. Right. Da 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 da. Fill that. I think they're going to be dead now. Biff. All up. I love that sound. It's not. It's not. It's not a very fitting sound, but I like it because it's com comic um, effect. Nice waterfall there. A bit zigzaggy. Oh, these guys are back. Knights of the Duff Table. Maybe I need a can opener to kill these boys. What's the story with those two? They could do, be doing a bit bigger. In Golden Axe 1, the first game, uh, they were quite big, these guys. Uh, they had slightly different armour. It was more, I don't know, it was more square or medieval -y, More evil. The animation on this is good. Got a few extra moves, as I said before. But this is sword play. Oh, look at that, I'm dead. Right, continue. Yes. Right, I've got a bit of magic left to get them two at the same time. Ah, uh, who's this guy? It looks a bit like Blanco from uh, Street Fighter 2. One of his friends, right, let's give him a bit of magic. Is that going to kill him? I'd imagine not. Right. Oh man, he's going to be quite tough. This is an end of level boss of doom, and he's good at blocking as well. Oh, this is going to be a problem. I'd like to see his energy bar on the uh, on the screen, but we don't. Right, I've got him down once, twice, three times a lady. Headbutt to the throat. Oh, this 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 could this could be the end of the review here. Um, da -da 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 -da. nice loincloth there. Or is he just put tomato ketchup on himself? I don't know. It's a bit hard to see. No, it's a loincloth, isn't it? Oh. Feels like I'm hitting it against a copper can or a fire hydrant. Now I think once we defeat this person, so we will defeat them, they're only fighting because they're um, possessed by an evil curse. Once that evil curse is lifted, then we'll be back on to full power. Right. Come on. Hopefully you can't hear the hoover in the background. I didn't time that. Oh dear. Well, this is a condenser microphone. It might it might uh, condense it out. I might have to do the whole video again, which I'd be pretty annoyed. But if you listen to this, then we didn't. Oh dear, it's pretty loud now. Right, anyway, let's kill this bloke. Let's take it out on, all on this fella, who's moonwalking around. Look, we've almost lost our whole life again. Well, I think we've got another couple of credits as well. Boom. Another one of those would do. Damn it. Who is this guy? I think he, he does a little bit like the playable crack character Kronos. He's dead, right. The evil curse is gone, I think, now. What's he going to say? I'm so ashamed that I fell under the curse. I must beg your pardon. That's all right, mate. That's all right. That's okay. I'll let you off. I'm a forgiving man. Right, magic time. As we set up for the night. Stay still. Right, good. We need the magic. Thank you. Only two. That's a bit stingy. We need to employ those guys more full time. Right, map of the Eastland, but no story again. Boo! What's that about? Level F, that means rubbish. And now we're in the dim jungle where all the dim people hang out on stage three. Stage two. Here we are. It's a spooky jungle, don't be scared. The, uh, the trees look a bit like those chocolate matchsticks that turn up at Christmas time. They're back in their uh, purple clothes, the Spear Brothers, Britney Spears and Barry Spears. Whoops, oh, at least they're not throwing those at me, that's good. They've got a way of moving, haven't they, really? So you, as soon as you work out how to kill them, you could probably race through this game quite quickly. But jumping and slashing seems to be the most effective, which I've seen so far. Another two, it's girls with, with uh, maces, green goddesses of doom. I think we should be able to take those out, but they certainly work out a lot. Uh, it's quite a, quite a, um, there's no blood in this game to speak of, it's all nice and family friendly. Oops, right, okay, another two. It's a good job these people don't all attack at the same time, which is, is quite nice. 
Oh, I need to get on that snail monster thing. It's run off again. Tough luck, Tubby. Take that. I don't know how long this review is going to go on for, but we'll keep going. We're on our last, we're on our last life here. I probably better use that magic for I completely gone. We'll probably have one more credit after this. We've got two more credits left. I think we'll use one of them. We won't use all of them. When I was on Golden Axe 2, because I put it on easy mode, uh, we, it stopped you from getting to the end of the game. You have to do it on normal at least, which I suppose is fair. I generally do it on easy a lot to um, show you a bit of the game. This is on normal. There was no easy to select. I don't think was there. I can't remember now. The same one before, but in black gear. The sort of woman you'd see in a in a dungeon somewhere if you was that way inclined. I I don't know what I'm talking about. I never I never do that sort of thing. Is she wearing PVC? We do not know. This is a strange land, but they've got two hostages. One can go. They uh, they've got one prisoner each. There, take that. I've got a lot of magic now saved up. I'm I'm maxed on the magic. As long as I don't hit the magic button in error, we should be able to give some ender level boss a hell of a pasting. Go, go, go. Right, we're going up various levels. The first two games had skeletons turning up at some point when the levels raised, and they were very, very fast. There's another knight there that lays in wait. Hopefully he rusts up to nothing, but he's waiting to see what his two minions are going to do first before he jumps in. Hopefully he doesn't get involved for a while. Yes, he's just doing a few practice blows. Right. You can throw the characters if you get the right um, distance. But that is tricky about taking a slash to the midriff. Right, it's gonna get involved now. Give him maximum pelt. Right, this should do him. Hopefully this is the end of level boss guy. I think then I think I I don't think he is though. Right, he should be dead. Oh look, I didn't release all the magic. I thought you did. Yeah, it's obviously in segments here. You can do it in segments. But just to um, be clear, although this game's good, my favourite is Golden Axe 1, because I played that as a kid with nostalgia. Second favourite is Golden Axe 2, this is my third favourite, but it's growing on me as I play it. It's a different feel to the thing. If you like the first two games, you, you'll probably like this as well. More the same, but uh, shame that uh, you can't play as Gilius Thunderhead, he was a top character there. But he is in the game in various uh, cutscenes and story bits at some stage, I'm told. Du, 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 du. I've forgotten what this land is called. But I do miss Tyrius Flare. She was the character I always used to control the most. Du, 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 du. I've been told that her range isn't as good as Gilead's Thunderhead. Let's take out these three uh, fatsos. Yeah, they need to work out a bit more. Look at that armour. That's terrible. That's just... If that was my standard issue armour for the battle with a club, I, I wouldn't be very confident I'd meet retirement age to get a pension. Maybe that's the whole idea. Right, that must be them, Dem, mustn't it? Three clubs, diff. Oh, there's two alive. A club's no good against a broadsword, especially when I know how to defend myself. Go. Right, choice of directions again. Let's take the high road. You take the low road. I take the high road. And we're off. Du, 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 du. Is that another direction thing? Right, that's good. We're taking the right distance because there's a lot of energy for us and magic. Stay still. They never stay very... Oh, here we go. These women again from the darkest dungeon. I'll take the clobber into the nose. Right. As long as they don't get around me. I don't do, tend to do the barging as much as the other characters tend to do in the previous games. They do it occasionally, but not a lot. In the other ones, as soon as you turned your back to them, they would sort of like to go for a barging move. Yep, stay down. You, you know what's good for you all. Graphics in the background are quite good, it seems to be multi-layered. Whenever a knight turns up, we'll release some magic. Doof. To 1993, to my knowledge, there wasn't a Golden Axe 4. If you know if there was, then let me know. But uh, I think three's enough, really. Sega was slightly worried about the third instalment not being quite as good. Uh, it's probably a good time to quit, really. Virtuality Golden Axe, we have that next. I think there was another Golden Axe which didn't quite play like this. Like, this is a 2D horizontal scroller. I think there was one that was like 3D, I think. Might have come out on one of the Playstations or Xbox. Let me know, I don't know too much about that. Oh, look, here we go. There's some giants turning up. Now, this is when it's going to start to get a bit meaty, this game, I think. Those, those guys are big. Big, 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 big. Let's take out these minions. They're not going to attack before um, I take care of these two guys, though. Green Giant. Oh dear, right. Right, need tactics. Take that, Beardy. 
Take that, beardy. Right, okay, that's, that could be a good strategy. Yes, right, charge. 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 Oh, yeah, this is this is going to work. This is going to work well. Yeah, I think we can take both of these. But we're on our last life here before another continue. Yeah, these have had it. That strategy is rubbish. Yeah, in two players, I think this would be quite easy. Oops, no. They can't have too much strength left, surely. Knee to the... Come on. They can't have too much left. Just die. Die, will you? Oh, God, I've died. Continue. Yes, magic. Hopefully, this will be enough now to go on to the next stage. Yes. Yeah, and one of them. Oh! At least they've got different voices when they die, or they seem to. Right, campfire again. What's going on here? Oh, right, now... Yeah, this is novel. We can't get them when they're on the ground. We have to jump up and slash the rope or attack them. Oh, this is awkward. Well, there's one. Right, jump. Jump. Yes, got it. That's interesting. Right, let's get out of this spooky forest jungle, dim jungle. As we go back to the map of the Eastland, and where do we go next on this amazing journey of, um, of whatever. Stage four. The Scorching Sand. Right, I think we'll call it a day at uh, the end of this one. Maybe. Here we go. Oh, now this looks a bit dodgy in the graphics department. Music's changed again though, which I'm a fan of. Da -da 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 -da. Who's been raking this sand? Maybe we're in a big long jump pit. So the uh, the territory is different, uh, but the seems the people we're fighting are exactly the same. And again, it's the, the short the short fat bloke with the club, and the guy with his changing colour clothes with the spear. Not a lot of variety in this game, apart from the background. I miss the skeletons. When are they going to get involved? Go. Yep, same mob again. Same mob, those women in the in the tight clothes. And the dragon. Well, that's a different dragon, though, I think. What does that one do? Yeah. Oops, I couldn't get on it again, like I said that floor before. Yeah, we're all going to try and get on it. Oh it, oh, it does fire. Actually, that did look very similar. When you burn, that did look very similar to um, Dal Sim when he set you on fire in Street Fighter 2. Oh, it looks like identical graphic. I'll have to compare the two. Yeah, no one likes to get flame grilled. Not in Golden Axe. Wee! Oh, look, the fire goes across the floor. That's clever. Take that. Right, okay, this looks good. Flames. Oh, no. You're going to flame. Right, it's down down just to me and these birds. This reminds me of that that, uh, that date I had in um, Streets of Rage 3, where I there was those two... Um, Kamikaze women. It took ages to fight and kill. This is like a bit of history repeated here, but these these girls look a little bit easier to, to kill. Right in the desert. Looks like a bit of a rib cage. Oh, good skeleton. Well, a sort of skeleton. What's that a skeleton of? That's not a skeleton of a human. Some sort of bird thing. What the hell's that? I don't know. He's putting up a bit of a fight though. Next, there's another one jumped up from the ground. Like Sinbad or Jason and the Argonauts. Let me know what you think about this game. Did you complete it? Is it your favourite or is it your third favourite of the three like me? Always like hearing from you. Some people just watch a bit of the video. Some people watch all the video. Some people will sneak through watching various bits of the video but not necessarily in all the order. If you know what I mean. But I'd like to have you here. This channel is all about shared memories, views. You might not always agree with me. You might differ. Don't be afraid to share your views if you're completely different. I like hearing from you. It's not about arguments, it's about a bit of fun and discussion. Sometimes there might be a game I absolutely hate and you like, and vice versa. Hooray! But it's good to see them anyway. Right, okay, that's a new spear bloke, isn't it? He looks a bit more deadly. Uh, and this time the, uh, the, the, short, the short fat people can breathe fire. That's a new one. Take that. Right, is this the end of the level? We've got one bit of magic. I don't want to use it on these two fools. Good. Right, I'm sensing end of levels. Yeah, right. Whenever there's magic, there's, there's some crazy stuff going to go down. Oh. Do -do -do. Stay where you are, lad. Good. Right. 
three bits of magic. Oh, it's these girls again. A lot of repetition here. Uh, although the first two games had a repetition, it didn't seem like there was repetition. Why is this seeming like there's repetition? I don't know. Same sort of thing. We're going around in circles here. Da la 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 la. Right, no footprints in the sand. Maybe there could be some flying things in the background. That would have added a, a nice touch. I might have to use some magic on these girls soon. It's not going good, is it? Um, right, if I can take one of them out, it might be a bit better. What, what, a terrible altercation. Are these all the same women that have been cloned somewhere? Right, there's one taken care of. Just take out one more. Right, okay, she must be dead now. Good. This one left. Good. Good. Oh, what is that not the end? Oh, some more skeleton guys. Take that. Eat sand. Oh, <laughs> such a satisfying block there. Cling. Oh, it's getting a bit darker. Oh, no, not three of them. I can't take three skeleton people. This should destroy them all. I think that's the power of wind, isn't it? He's like a weather god, this fella. Each character you pick have got different strengths. If you're in two player, there are some like team special moves, depending on what other uh, player the other person's got. Uh, like slingshot and various other bits and pieces. So well worth playing on two player if you can, with a friend or enemy of your choice. Or maybe maybe celebrity, if you can find one. I bet you can. The B-list celebrity circuit, there's about billions of people on that. Your water, sir. Right, come on, let's get ahead on that dragon. Just die. Oh, we're still alive. Du, 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 du. And this is my last life of this credit. So this could very well be near the end of the review. As I have my shoes burn. But good recovery. Cool. That, that, that's definitely the best dragon, that. Oh. You don't lose too much energy for um, getting burnt. Right, okay. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it. Oh. You're getting on my nerves, sir. Good, right, now, I must be able to get on it now. Yes! Right, this is mine. Right, I've got this for the duration now, hopefully this will help. Come on, Fido. Oop, oh no, can we kill these things on this? Oh no, this is awkward. Oh, I don't want to get off in case the dragon runs away. Oh, we have two apples, that'll do. How do we, can we pick them up on this? Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, we definitely need the dragon here, folks. Oh! Right, one. Who are these guys? They've got two legs, four arms, and the dragons run off, which is my only chance of beating these twits. Ugh. Da da da. Da da da. Right, well, those, those big green guys are keeping themselves out of the picture, really. It looks like I can maybe fight one at a time. Yeah, they're not all fighting as a group, are they? They're doing their own thing. Take one or two of them out, and that might make it a little bit easier. Good. I'll focus on him. Oh. Can I defeat these on this one life? The other three are just walking down the bottom there. The AI isn't brilliant on them. No, they're keeping out the way. Oh. Felt that. Oh, no, and that. Spinning around like Michael Jackson now. Or like like Sangi from the Street Fighter 2, he did that spinning thing. Oh well, that's it. Shall we continue? I'm not so sure about it. Yeah. Well, you know, Golden Axe Free. I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was on the Sega Ultimate Mega Drive Collection, uh, Golden Axe 3, published by Sega in 2009, based on the original game on the Mega Drive from 1993. It wasn't bad, it was okay, but I prefer the first one and the second one. So, yeah, I hope you liked having a look at that one. If you've got any comments about this game, any other um, experiences on the Mega Drive or the uh, games on the PlayStation 3 Mega Drive Collection, then please put them below. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond... Goodbye. Goodbye.